Hi! In this video I'm going to have a look at this Constantine Puzzles waiter's tray. Um, the goal is to move the bottles in such a way that the waiter can remove his tray from underneath. It gets a 5 out of 5 difficulty. So I have to confess if you can see a bit of dust on this I've been um, keeping it unopened for a while because I'm a little intimidated by it. So now is the time to actually go for it. There's the puzzle and we get as well as the uh, packing material in this rather nice wooden box. And we also get a little catalogue of uh, Constantine puzzles. I'm going to say going into this, um, Constantine makes pretty amazing puzzles, but I've also had some disappointing experiences with Constantine puzzles. Um, so I don't know what to expect uh, with this one, whether it'll be a, a good one or a less good one, but let's see. So let's have a look what we've got. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six bottles, and there are ball bearings. Okay, so, right, so some of the bottles have one ball bearing, one of them has two ball bearings, and one of them has no ball bearings. And they each have three slots arranged the same. Okay, uh, my phone camera ran out of battery and I hadn't started a timer, so uh, I'd spent less than two minutes um, so far, so I've started at two minutes. Let's see if I can remember <laughs> where I'd got to. So. Right, yes, this one can still move freely um, because its ball is still in the channel. Uh, if I want to get I can get that ball across there, which lets this one go all the way up to there. Um, this one can go down to there and then up to there. That's, yeah, until this one's moved up. Think what the principle is here. Um, none of these will currently move, right? Yeah. So all we can move is these two, and, and moving this left and right isn't going to affect my ability to move these ones. So these ones aren't going to be able to move. This one won't be able to move until this one's moved, and all the way along, this one can't move until that one's moved because we need to be able to get the ball bearing across in there. Oh, and probably that pull bearing across to there. Right, that's why this one has two, because it's the last one. Um, okay, so we're sort of, we're feeding something, a sort of a piece of information we're feeding across this way, probably until we get to this pull bearing moving across to there, which means being able to move this down uh, into this gap here. So I think that's probably goal number one, although I, I could well be wrong. Let's see. to do this actually oh right I see yeah so okay yeah I shouldn't do that thing where I was tipping it from there into there because the channel doesn't go that far right similarly I can't really tip that into there you can do it physically by sort of shaking the ball up but I'm assuming that's an illegal move um, right so I think I've been here before I'm not Three up. Uh, and so that right. So that can move down. But what good does that do? Nothing. We've always got this problem that this piece of the um, uh, what is it meant to be a tray? A waiter's tray. This piece of the tray blocks two bottles at a time, not just one. We only get a gap here of one. So the only way this one's moving is if this one comes down. And the only way that can come down is with that ball bearing in there. we can get this one down with that ball bearing in there. So somehow I feel like we have to return to what feels like 
feels like the original state, but I'm not sure if that's straightforward. I can't remember if this is how it started or not, maybe it is. So, uh, now if I could move this one up, right, so the point is, in order to get this gap underneath this third bottle, which is necessary for this ball to move out so that this bottle can move up, um, in order to get that gap under there, I need to be able to move this across, which means this one has to be in an upper, a higher position than it currently is. And the only way I can get that to a higher position is by doing this. One. And now, it's not it. Yeah, okay, so now we can move that in that way. And now this goes up, okay. So I feel like that was a piece of progress, maybe. Um, what happens if that goes... This bottle is now completely blocked by that ball bearing. Right, so now in order to get this to go up, we need to first have this come down. Uh, oops, like so. But we really want this one to come, this one to come up as well, but I think we have to get this one up first. So, to get it up, This is really feeling like progress now. I'm hoping this isn't just one of those dead ends <laughs> where it feels like you've come a long way and you actually haven't. Now this one... Okay, now I don't think that ball bearing is stopping this spot. I think this ball bearing is stopping the bottle going up and this ball bearing is stopping the bottle coming down. So that's okay. So our next step is to get this bottle up. So in order to get this bottle to go up, we need this bottle to come down. And in order to get this bottle to go down, we need this bottle to go down, for which we need this bottle to go down, for which we need this bottle to go down. So we have to sort of undo everything we've done, but in such a way that it, it then feeds back up this way. It's one of those um, Ennery puzzles, isn't it, where it's going to take, you know, something like one move to sort of to get this one up, three, 7, 15, 31, 63, or, you know, something like that. This has to go down, but in such a way that this can then move. That's the trick. This might be back to the beginning. <laughs>
right. Somehow, <laughs> I got to five bottles, and so I just have to try and repeat what I just did to get this bottle. Ah, uh, well, no, not quite. I'll have to repeat what I did and then something else, because then I'll have to try and get this ball out. That ball won't come out into there so easily. I think. Well, that's really close now. <laughs> But the trick here is that this can't go down because of that ball. No, wait, that ball is stopping it going up. This ball is stopping it going down, yeah. Okay. All right, so the only move that I can make right now, there is only one move, which is to move this first bottle down again. So I think I just have to repeat what I just did. side of each instead of on the left hand side of each because that would be a new state wouldn't it? oh uh, and there it is is that a new state this definitely started with two balls oh yeah one of them in the middle had no balls I what the balls are even doing. So why can't this bottle move down or up right now? Oh. Okay, so on the left hand side, ah. yeah, if you have a ball on the left hand side of a bottle, that bottle can no longer move in any direction. So maybe what we need to aim for is to have the balls all on the right hand side. Because when the ball is on the right hand side, so, so okay, so the point is that on the left hand side, there's just a little dip. I don't know if you can see it, but just under there, there's a a hole the size of the ball bearing so it can sit in there but then it blocks the bottle like on this one. On the right hand side you've got a sort of a channel where the ball can move from sort of here to here which lets the bottle go up and down a bit. So if we have the ball on the right hand side here we can move the, the bottle up and down. That's where it would stop even if this wasn't the bottom of the tray I think. So we want all the balls I think to be on the right hand side. Right, I 
just want to play this sequence through a couple of times. So I have this position where I have all the bottles level and I want to get the first two into the upward position. The first one can just go trivially, the second one can't move at all because I'm at two balls. So we bring the first bottle down, let that ball go in there, bring it up. Now we want to drop that down to let the ball out into the right hand side, away from it, so that's going to be here for this bottle. And then we can pull that up all the way, which lets us then bring this bottle down far enough for this ball to drop in there. Boink. Right, and if we want to repeat that process here for the third one, that means getting this one up. Which first means making it go down here yeah, so that it's ball disappears, right. Now we're going to get, okay, so now this one's up, we've got to get this one to go down. To get that to go down, we've got to get its left hand ball out. Which means we need to do that. And then that is free to move. Right, and then if we, okay, if we do this. Felt like quite a logical way to get those four up, and now if we want to get, do the same for the fifth one, it's going to mean to get this to go up, this ball needs to drop into there, which means this has to come all the way down. Oh, incidentally, <gasps> oh no, this is new, right? Look at that. Now we've got the sixth one all the way up. Oh, 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 so now we're actually nearly there because now we have to do is get that one up. Okay, this is very exciting. Okay. Almost feel like I know what I'm doing now. Okay, look at that, now we've got these two. Now we are getting some, and that can stay like this. So this is our final state, right? So now our goal is to get this to go down so that this ball can drop into there, right? This is definitely genuine progress. Oops. There we go, right, three, last three done. Now we're really close, I believe. <laughs> oh, look at that, it's almost out that way, isn't it? Anyway, um, the trick now is to get this ball into there, so I'm going to do that like this. Um, wait, is that 
can move across that. There we go. Yeah. Which lets that go down and that ball goes across. And now we've got four. Woohoo! And then that goes into. And that into there. There we go. I see now. <gasps> Look at this. We're a single bottle away from being done. Like that, and then like that, and then. Whoa, there we go. That was actually really fun. That was another one of these kind of Ennery puzzles where you, uh, you're you sort of breaking the puzzle down. And actually, again, I've seen this, I think with the, um, was it the Stoyarat um, puzzle from Constantine, where it's like a, um, a steering wheel. In fact, here it is right in front of me. I think it's the same kind of principle actually as this puzzle. Wow, it doesn't fit on the screen. Um, where you end up sort of going all the way around to the end in order that you can make your way back again and so you're sort of passing some signal backwards and forwards and in a similar kind of way I think with this one um, the aim was getting this this ball here so that you could have this ball here and then repeat that going downwards but in order to do that you have to keep going upwards so you're sort of going up and down in these waves up and down in waves and then once you've got this one stable you can completely forget about it um, just like in something like the Towers of Hanoi, for example, where once you've got one disc into its final place, you can forget about it, and then you're just solving a five-size uh, puzzle, and then four, and then three, and then two, and then one. Whew, there we go. So that took me... Oops, I didn't stop the timer, but it was about 35 minutes or so. Um, which feels pretty good. I wonder if there's a quick and easy way to get this back to its starting state, or if I have to completely reverse... Yeah, you have to completely reverse the process, don't you? Yeah, because if I do this, I'm just going to pull the tray out completely. <laughs> and now it's uh, stuck. Okay, well, I'm not going to get it back into its original state because that'll take another 35 minutes, but there we go. Uh, this was fun. I, I've kind of heard bad things about this puzzle before, I think. Um, the waiter's tray from Constantine. Um, but I've got to say, I think this is one of the better ones. Um, it's a shame the plastic on here is scratched. Um, but yeah, other than that, I think this is a really nice um, example of one of these kinds of puzzles. Um, I, I, there we go. Let's at least get the tray in. Okay, I recommend it. Um, yeah, so this is actually, I think, a really nice uh, Constantine puzzle. Um, one of the better ones, I would say. I hope you've enjoyed watching this video. Thanks uh, for watching as always, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.